and where it was. And uh, so I started getting re-involved and most of my business is mostly off the reservation, but when we went to Winter Rock, we saw Chili stand up for everybody. He stood up and, I was, and, and Russell also did his job too. And I can see where the council is probably have a target on him because he stands with the people. But it's good to see our politicians, our leaders, stand up for us. I'm 50 years old. I look at what's good for our next generation, our children. And I always ask the question, why are, why are we always being used for our resources, our coal, our gas, our water, to provide electricity and all the comforts for the big cities first? When our people will go without water, go without, without heat, it's about time that our government take care of our people first. Then, if we have leftovers, we can maybe help them. But every decision that they're asking us to make is for them, not us. These are our resources. These took millions of years, billions of years to get here. And they're always trying to extract it from us. I think about it as they're taking away our next generation's ability to go forward. We need to be more concerned about the lights on here. Let's take care of our people first before we start taking care of Frito Lay, before we start taking care of electricity for APS. It needs to start right here at home. So that's something really to think about. We need to transition over to the new energies, wind, solar, hydro, all these things are there. Other tribes are already getting into it. Look at Laguna. They're already putting windmills up on their mesas. It's not hurting them, it's helping them. That's what we got to do. So the jobs that are there at APS and the coal mine, those things are going to come to an end anyway. The coal that they mine is very low grade. APS is going to look at it and they're going to say, we want the BTUs to be higher. If you can't guarantee that BTU to burn in our power plant, forget about it. You're providing us with free coal. That's what they want us to pay for. That stuff is, is I guess you would say, coal is dead. There's no clean coal technology. We, we need to do this transition for our children. We really do. And our economic development, take, let's take care of our people first before we start taking care of everything else. And the man that said yes, when we buy something, the money is always the first answer. That's the first thing I always ask. If you can't afford it, leave it alone. We can't afford these, these, these deals. So thank you, Russell. Thank you for standing up in our council chamber. Thank you, Chile. Thank you. Um,